I want to be giving a uh, installation tip for our bushwhacker pocket style flares for our, our Chevrolet pickup trucks. The year range on this particular model is going to be from a 2014 to a 2017. Today's model truck is going to be done on a 2015. The uh, feedback we've heard from some of the customers and some of the jobbers is that once they get the flare up, they can't quite close the gap up here at the top and it doesn't matter how much they push in on the flare, it's not resting easy up against the fender. So here at the pit crew, we decided we need to figure out what the, uh, what the tip is to try to help that along. If you notice, I got tape across the top of the, uh, top of the fender well here. The reason I've done this is I'm going to show you exactly what's hitting, where it's hitting, and the adjustments that we need to make to, uh, to eliminate that problem that we've been having. So we're going to step over here and try this. So what we're doing here is we're just using a dry erase, board, or a dry erase marker to uh, color the edge of this inner bracket for the... Uh, for the fender flare. Uh, the center bracket is basically to adjust the preload so that the, the flare will rest up against the truck like we're supposed to. Good? Yep. Let's do it. All right. So we see the flare like it's supposed to be. Trying to get the tape there. All right. So we got it in. This is what we run into. Of course, I've this, got it over here. All right. You heard the little popping noise. You see it's resting flat, flush up against there. Ah, right, here we go. Come around here. This is the issue that we're having, and it doesn't matter how much you push on the truck, it's not going to go in. Let's slide it away. If you'll come around here, you'll see, let me get the perspective right, you'll see that the preload inner bracket is actually hitting the fender. That first popping noise we heard is when it dropped down. This needs to be inside of the fender well. You see the marks here where it's hitting that. We've got the scuff marks here to show where that preload inner bracket is hitting the fender. So this is our installation tip. Drop the flare a little bit lower. Slide it up like it needs to be. Body line good there? Good there. If you'll come around, you'll see it's a nice easy fit. When in doubt, pull the flare down just a little bit and you should be able to feel the lip all the way across the fender. So we've got it seated. So the tip basically is make sure that preload inner bracket is where it, is where it needs to be at. And you see our body lines and all are lined up. Our holes here are lined up. And of course on this model, you'll need to mark your holes to drill. Make sure you do this first before you even attempt to mark your holes that you'll need to drill. Because otherwise, those holes are going to be off if you don't have the inner part inside of the flare like it's supposed to be. I hope this helps you guys. If you've got any questions, hey, feel free to reach out to us here at the tech department. We'll answer any questions you got. Thanks again for supporting our products and uh, we'll on. Bushwhacker, the original. We've got you covered.